Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with my neighbor Totoro. Okay, um, and the previous uh, like uh, the previous movie that I re reacted to that is um, Spirited Away. It was like like a lot of you guys watched it and I thank you for that for showing uh, like showing so much support and I'm really happy for that. And I am planning to do like uh, almost like all of the Ghibli movies uh, and like I'll do all of them. I think. Uh, and uh, next week uh, I'm going to like say this at the beginning next week I'm going to do um, Princess Mononoke and then after that week I think I will probably do House Moving Castle so be sure to tune in if you are like interested in those as well so yeah and back to uh, like this movie and so uh, I'm doing this uh, My Neighbor Totoro first because obviously like uh, I've heard a lot of My Neighbor Totoro in a lot of animes like uh, like in a lot of animes uh, due to parodying especially like Gintama uh, my neighbor Totoro kind of came in uh, and I was like I, I like after like I think um, Peter Away was the one movie that I always knew was a Ghibli movie and my neighbor Totoro I came to know from other animes like them like parodying my neighbor Totoro and uh, like uh, in Gintama it was like called something like my neighbor something <laughs> like they parodied it uh, and like uh, at that time I came to know about this movie so like I'm thinking like what is this about and like I've seen in the movie posters a huge kind of like I don't know a teddy bear kind of thing so, so I'm quite curious about it so that's the reason why like today I'm doing it so okay guys um without further ado uh, let's get started with this movie so as always this will be a timer reaction because of copyright reasons so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here Think it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with the movie okay so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> and as always I have no idea what this is about let's see 1988 okay this is quite old as well um what is this oh totoro isn't that oh um opening song is this Okay. Wow. Okay, so this is we can see a kid uh walking and a little I don't know what that is. Okay. These are more like um as far as I can tell like I think this this is more um like I've seen the movie poster there was like a little kid with a huge um teddy bear kind of thing and I think it was like holding an umbrella I can't remember so I'm guessing this is like uh, more of that like the name my neighbor Totoro and I'm guessing the huge teddy bear thing is Totoro so this might be something between that little kid and that uh, thing wow this is quite pleasing to the eye like like uh, the art background art Okay. Wow, the like this type of art style is cannot be seen now. 
like especially in animes like this is quite calming to the eye <laughs> pleasing to the eye like like soft colors and wait why were they hiding from the police wait a minute what did okay Shrine, you can see a little shrine with the fox statue. Okay, they're moving. All right, and this is a village, I'm guessing. Yep, hmm. What? Why did she get startled like that? Wait, he's wearing a police hat. A police cap, or whatever. Oh, damn. That's some athletic skill. Uh. Wow, just like imagining like this kind of a place. Wow, like this is like all um greenery and things in the middle of the house. <laughs> like I doubt we would ever see a, like any type of place like this and uh, like the way the uh, like our environment is modernizing. Oh my god, it will fall. Calm down. Uh yeah. Oh my god. Um, I don't think you should do that. Oh my god, stop! Like, this. <laughs> wow, this girl can like somersault. Wow, this is huge. Those are all birds, I'm guessing. Hmm. No, oh, can't for. Oh. What is that? Oh! <laughs> Acorn. <laughs> oh, it's falling from top? What? <laughs> what is that? An oven? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I thought maybe it was a radio. Then they said like opening the kitchen. So I thought, nah. nah. What will a radio do in a kitchen? <laughs>
Wow. Oh my god. What the? It, those things, they are like uh, from Spirited Away, those suit things. Like those uh, little, little black suit things. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This place is pretty um. Spiders, I'm guessing those are, or are there something else? Like, oh no, I don't think there are so many spiders at the same time. Nope. Dust bunnies. What are dust bunnies? Oh, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> They're like running around and all. <laughs> there is a second floor? I'm guessing, like, we can see a window. <laughs> Ale? Oh, she fell down. Okay. What's what's that sound? Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay, that is scary. Oh, acorn. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Oh. oh boy, I doubt I was as uh, like brave as <laughs> them when I was a little kid. <laughs> I would stare the hell away from there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, open the window. Oh my, oh my god, these are, yeah, open it, and they're gone. <laughs> okay. Yep, what's with her? Oh. Hmm. Okay, I think you don't not.
Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh. Bam! <laughs> you killed it! You did not get it! You completely <laughs> squashed it! Oh. Who is this? Oh! <laughs> Um <laughs> uh. hmm. okay, her name is Satsuki the May. Yeah. Okay, so they are more like dust. No, oh, you. Oh. Damn. What's with this lady? Food spread. Okay, so yeah, they were suit. So this like suit thing is like reoccurring in these movies, I guess. Oh. oh others cannot see it, only little kids can, okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh, what the hell is happening? They're doing some kind of ceremony or something? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> they are. Okay. Nope. Oh. Okay. So they poured a little water and then they pumped it so it like started to flow. So I I've never seen it uh, like that's a tube, isn't it? Like that. Like a hand pump. Oh. Oh, this kid. Okay. <laughs> My mom from for granny, okay. <laughs> and Kanta's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and kids will be kids. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
Okay, nice place. Um, except those loot. Gathering some firewood. Oh, oh, I thought that was water. No, that was wind. Oh, what the? Okay, storm is coming. <clears throat> Oh boy, well. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, yeah, it is really f like. Damn. Like, s the wind is so strong that buckets are even like being flung around. What? That's an owl. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, like how much water was in that bathtub? <laughs> and these guys are having uh Oh, they're going away. Oh, uh, yeah, as I said, like if you like uh, keep laughing and everything, they'll eventually go away. So they're more like um, a kind of entity that uh, like move, moves in like dark gloomy places with no one around but if it is like bright and everyone's laughing and everyone's like living they will gradually go away Okay, where are they going? Oh! Huh. Damn! Okay. Oh, the mom's in the hospital. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So their, so their mom is in a hospital here so uh, is that the reason why they moved I'm guessing yeah I think so okay now the question is why is she in a hospital Hmm. 
My god. Yeah, she looks a lot like her mom, like especially her face, everything. Okay, we still don't know why her mom is in the hospital, and I don't like that. Like, usually in animes, if someone is in a hospital, that's not a good thing. But they're all happy and everything, so I'm guessing it's not so serious. <clears throat> the music is nice as well, like, um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> My God, she can like cut. Okay, so she is quite uh like custom to doing this. Oh, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Um, one thing I have to say, I really don't like fish. I don't know why. I don't like them at all. Okay. Yeah, like they just barely... When did she even like make friends? Oh, wow. Damn, she's fast. Like, she made friends just like <laughs> after one or two days. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, what is he doing? Okay. <laughs> That holes, okay. Old dad. <laughs> what is she? She trying to catch the dad holes? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What is that? Well, she is a kid, that's right, because like she's getting all distracted by everything. Acorn. More acorn. Trail of acorns. Oh boy, you should not um 
follow Oh Rabbit The rabbit No Oh those things that we saw in the Oh it's transparent Isn't it I don't think you can catch it it's Transparent Oh they must be like those things Those suit things that only little kids can see He's like how the hell can she see me And there. <laughs> and it's fully visible now. Oh no. And you can get in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Just waiting for her to pray. <laughs> and she's going to get distracted. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what? What is this, Tom and Jerry? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> My God, she can run. <laughs> oh! Uh. Hmm. Wow, that's a huge tree. Like, just look at it. Okay, you'll probably fall down, yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. That's the tail, I'm guessing. And she'll probably go and like give it a big tug. Yeah, she's oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh. Okay, what is this? Like, uh, beer? Mixture of a beer and, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's going to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, now he noticed her. Still in like sleep. Oh. Oh my god. The amount of sleep he had is all gone now. How the hell did he come up with that name? Yep, this is Totoro. Oh no, don't fall in inside that there. Okay. <laughs> well. Oh, they were all like hiding. <laughs> yep. Nope. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, yeah, they're going to get worried now. Uh, and they're going to find the hat. Yep. And there she goes. Oh, she's here. Oh, I thought. Okay. Will she remember of the things that happened? <laughs> yeah, he, she remembers, okay. Oh, it's a uh, name of a creature from a picture book. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna find it again. Maybe when they're not here, like Tatsuki and the dad. <laughs> Nope, not here. Now there can be two possibilities. Number one, it is all inside uh, the little girl's head or it is something that uh, only little kids can see or something. And because the dad and Satsuki is here. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, there are like times when little kids say stuff like this and 
we usually don't like uh, trust them. We think that they are like thinking it all up in their head. But maybe something like this like is really happening. Who knows? Ah. Like there are stuff which only little kids can see. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Like as we grow older, uh, like I don't know, we start stop believing in these kind of things, and that's the reason why, like, they also don't show like themselves to us. And little kids have like wild imagination, and that's the reason why, like, like they can like see a lot of things. Which we might not be able to see. <clears throat> okay, yeah, okay, so that is. Oh, he, she also like, yeah, she fell from here, didn't she? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so I, I thought maybe like because of her mom, they're like uh, moved here, but no, that's not the case. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Mm, okay. Oh boy. Oh, why are they here? Yeah, why are they here? <laughs> yep. That's what happens when, like, what happened? Oh. Okay, that's why I like the... Is, why is she crying? Oh, yeah, she's a kid, so definitely she'll cry. <laughs> oh my god. <clears> hmm. 
Hmm. Yep. Oh my god. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. And there's the rain. <clears throat> oh, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, sh those shrine, rose side shrines. Oh, okay. It's a guardian spirit, okay. Hmm. Okay, it's Kenta. What was it saying? Kenta or Kanta? Kanta, I think. The maze, like, who is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> Still, it's better than nothing. What are they eating? Those rice crackers? <laughs> What's he making? He's making an airplane? Damn, this kid is talented. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Are they going to meet their... Oh, oh, they were waiting for their dad. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought maybe they were like going to go. <clears throat> yeah, it's late, pretty late. Oh. 
Oh, um, Fox Shrine. Yeah, it's the, one of those Fox Shrines that you see. So she's scared. It's quite late, like extremely late. Damn, this is spooky, like only one light. Raining, no sound, nothing. <clears throat> Damn, this Oh, yeah, this is pretty difficult, like uh, getting someone at the same time carrying an umbrella. And that's Totoro. Yep. <coughs> <laughs> Totoro is like, yeah, let me catch a bus as well. Ah, he has an umbrella as well. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's the movie poster you saw. Yep. Totoro can hold the umbrella, can't he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Totoro's like, what is this? Can you eat it? He's like, my umbrella is not covering me properly, so this is better. Oh boy. He's now waiting for the drops to fall and make the sound. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> oh my god, calm down. <laughs> That's the bus. And Toto is not there, I'm guessing. Like, wait a minute. That's not a bus. Um, uh, yeah, it can be called a bus. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> oh, that is Totoro's bus. He was waiting for that.
<laughs> My god. <laughs> oh yeah, he took the umbrella. It's not raining anymore, so I doubt you will need that. <sighs> and there's the dad. Hmm. Wait, so the cat bus is also something that uh, is in the picture book, I'm guessing? <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, what was that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hair is like the <laughs> Oh Yeah, like, uh, I've always liked these kind of, like, an atm atmosphere, like, you know those rooms where, like, there are glass panes, and there's, like, a balcony, sit there, okay, I'll talk about this, see what's happening. What? Oh, that's Totoro, and... Some of his friends, I'm guessing. Ah. Yep, that's a uh, big Totoro, a um, uh, small Totoro, and a uh, medium Totoro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so are they like helping it to grow? I think. He still has the umbrella. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> And it, it really is a forest, became a forest. <laughs> wow, damn these things. Oh, the dad's still awake. Is he not like noticing all of this? Ooh. 
Ooh. <laughs> My god. <laughs> like so many trees like uh kind of fused together and became a huge tree. Boy. <laughs> she still has not noticed. <laughs> wow. Oh! A, a top? Oh. Oh no! Um, I don't think you, like, May should also go with them. Should she? Okay, he's uh, she's also going. Okay, then that's okay. <laughs> wow. This <laughs> dad. <laughs> wow, his dad's hair is something else. <laughs> now he's like He's like one of the most chillest dad I've ever seen like Okay Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if the if tree, tree is still there or not. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, I'll have to talk a bit about this. So that's the reason why his dad uh, was. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's summer. Uh, what is that? A corn? Yeah, that's a corn. Yep. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, it's they're chilling it. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's good.
Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh boy. She won't listen. Oh, okay. Oh no, she lost her way. Ah, uh, found him. Oh no! We still don't know what her like mom's actual uh, illness is. Like that's a concerning thing. <sighs> oh. Oh my god. I was going to try to eat it. <laughs> yeah, there she found them. Oh. Well, you can go and like visit her. Mm. Well, the thing is, like, she's also like, like, I'm talking about Satsuki, not happy with this, but she. Like, she is the uh, like elder one, so she. She thinks like she has to like keep strong, so that's the more of the reason why she is like so irritated. That's usually what happens with like uh, younger siblings and all. You have to always stay um, strong in front of them, but that in turn like causes the stress. 
because obviously Sasuke herself is uh, like not so much old. just a cold like yeah like She, she most probably went to Totoro, I guess. Oh, yeah, that might also be a uh... Okay. Yeah, I should feel like he was like Oh my god. Oh. So, okay, so she's not... Wait, you should have like given her a lift, like 
אוקיי. Well, <laughs> well, he came with the like bicycle, but yeah, okay. Oh boy. Uh, I think he she went to Totoro. Or somehow like got lost in Totoro Lake. Got here her or something. Damn. Wait, they're like looking in the water? Well, yeah, there is a kind of a concern of her drowning. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yep, she went to Totoro. Wow. Oh. And there's Totoro. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Okay, you can probably like see from here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he was calling for his friends. Okay, that's a cat. 
Okay, so that was like a gust of wind. They did not see, yeah. So these are like the gust of winds that are happening in this place. Okay. And because they can see it, like, they're thinking like these are like winds and everything. Okay. Wait, Totoro won't get in? <laughs> Cemetery, shrine... May. Okay. <laughs> they can see him, uh, say her. <laughs> oh, dogs can see, like animals can see. Okay. Like they usually say that, uh, Animals can see like uh, supernatural beings and everything. They have a greater perception. Oh, there she is. She got lost. Okay, the hospital, yeah. Oh, there are like mouths in there. I did not notice that previously. Like, cat and two mice. <laughs> oh, so it is really a cold. I thought maybe something else, like who knows. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so whoever like, they can see them because uh, they're accompanied by the cat. <clears throat> okay.
Okay, then mom is back. Wow, that was good. Um, obviously, like this is uh more. Oh, whose whose kid is that? <laughs> A lot of things are happening in the after credits as well. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, like, uh, this is more uh, aimed towards children. Like, uh, this is uh, a thing. But, um, like, a lot of things I, like, notice, like, they, like, you can take this in two ways. Number one is that, obviously, Totoro is there, and only the kids can see them, and all of this. And most probably when, like, uh, Sasuke and Mei grows up, after they grows up, they'll probably not be able to see Totoro again as it happens and they might even forget and uh, like one thing we can like take it that way and there's another thing that we can take it as is like this is something that they uh, like kind of made up in their mind because Totoro is something that is a character in a picture book so obviously little kids with like big imaginations and diverse imaginations uh, like Especially, um, uh, what was it? Uh, May made up a thing like in her own mind when she was lonely, uh, like bored. Like she was bored and she was like, uh, like running around in the field and then suddenly came upon Totoro. So there is something that she kind of made up. And okay, that's the end. Is there something else? Let's see. Um, no, that's the end. Okay. Um, yeah, as I was saying, so there is something that she kind of made up in her own mind. It was her imagination. And after she made up uh, that that thing in her mind and told Tasuke that, yeah, I met Totoro uh, in the forest. After that, she was also able to see it. Uh, like obviously, like um, I think that was the reason why Sasuke was able to see it because that is something that was kind of a creation of May. Of her imagination and after she like said that to Satsuki, Satsuki also started imagining it and uh, like she started being able to see uh, Totoro and we can we can also interpret it that way but they are like the both of the like um, situations that I said like uh, number one they really saw Totoro and uh, Totoro is something that only like shows himself to little kids that or this one that this is something like uh, may made up from her own imagination for her uh, like when she was uh, like bored so these two are kind of also the same thing because like little kids were able to see it and um, like uh, <clears throat> that can also be like translated as yeah like uh, Sasuke and May both are little kids and they uh, like uh, the whole thing is kind of like a thing for the imagination because obviously uh, like uh, that scene uh, kind of like uh, confirms that kind of confirms that this is kind of an imagination whole thing uh, the scene that I'm talking about is like the uh, tree when that tree started growing like they uh, came out of the house and they saw like Totoro doing some kind of a thing with the trees uh, which were like sown in the ground and it started like suddenly growing and it became so big that it kind of like become a huge tree and they were like all like uh, like f flying around with Totoro with that top and everything uh, on top of that top and all of these things and um, like when they uh, like woke up they saw like no nothing happened like that uh, the only thing that happened was that uh, a little bit of uh, like uh, tree sprouted and that was it so that kind of confirms the whole thing that yeah this might be a thing of their imagination another thing that also kind of confirms it is like when uh may met totoro for the first time like she went inside the forest and uh like went into a place uh which was not like which cannot be found later on and when she like she was like slept on totoro's uh, belly but when everyone like found her and she woke up, she was in the middle of the like that kind of place, like in the middle of the forest with no, no such place there where Totoro was staying. So that also kind of confirms. But um, 
like i even though like we are like it can be taken like that it can also be taken another way because like totoro helped them to uh like helped satsuki to find may and uh, like took them to the hospital like that might not be a whole thing of an imagination or maybe it is something like this like they came to the hospital through their own efforts and like Sasuke found uh, May through her own efforts but she is like thinking like yeah maybe uh, she, uh, she's thinking that Totoro helped her like this might also be taken that way now here's the thing like I am like looking for explanations of all of these things that is what actually happens when we grow old whenever we see some kind of uh, like uh, weird thing happening we usually try to find the reason behind it we try to find the explanation behind it but a little kid uh, for example Sasuke and Mei they won't l look for any kind of logic behind everything they will think like yeah like they will think uh, take everything from the face for the face value that's also the reason why like kids are innocent and they are like have huge imagination they see everything and believe everything they take everything at the face value so if a kid sees something like uh, like weird happening she'd probably like make up something uh, like supernatural or weird and try to believe in that that's the reason why also like people say the supernatural things are more easily seen by kids and kids stop seeing that when they grow old because as they grow old people start to uh, distrust everything they start to find try to find logic in everything like that's kind of coming out of me now like I'm trying to find in logic in everything but in actuality if it was like I was a little kid who was watching this I would have like uh, like being extremely happy seeing all of this and be so uh, I don't know like excited just and we won't like try to find any logic we will just think that yeah Totoro is there when if I was a little kid but look at me now <laughs> anyways um yeah this is also something that is uh like uh, like I really liked the whole thing about the uh like little kids being able to see it and uh like adults who kind of believe in it but can, are unable to see it because obviously they are like adults they try to find logic in everything so that was really uh, like good there's another thing like it reminded me of something like um if you guys have seen i'm not sure if you've seen it or not it's kind of underrated um umineko umineko na no nakukoroni i'm not talking about the anime uh, i'm talking about the visual novel because i thought that like uh, i like i've heard that anime is bad like badly adapted but the visual novel was one of the best visual novels ever. Now, there is one thing in that, and it kind of like reminds me of this. That is like, uh, no, that reminded me, this like movie reminded me of that. Uh, that is like, um, like magic, like magic, like, like uh, the whole thing is with magic. Like magic is something that is uh, uh, like, uh, what was that actually? Um, yeah, to like see magic or to see the supernatural, you need to have some like you have to need to believe in it. Like for example, uh, if you take a glass, take a coin, and you kind of do a trick with it, and you like show a magic trick with it, there are like two people: uh, one person who like loves magic, who has a love for magic; another person who is indifferent to it. So if you show that trick to the guy who loves magic, he will say that yeah, this is magic. And this is something like supernatural and the other guy would say no this is like a sleight of hand this is no, nothing called magic so this is the same thing like a person who like loves and who only thinks about um, like who's a kid who is innocent who would try to who take everything in the face value that is Sasuke and Mei they are looking at it in the face value and they are believing it and uh, like their love for it is like um, like love for the supernatural love for the uh, weird kind of things are like heightening it that experience but at the same time uh, like a person who is indifferent to it for example adults uh, like who are usually like grow out of this phase they would say like nah this is a slate of hand so yeah like uh, like Uneko kind of like revolves around this whole thing that if you have love you will be able to like uh, believe in magic in supernatural and that's kind of the whole thing about Umineko and uh, like if you guys have not uh, like if you guys read vi visual novels and have still not read Umineko no Naku Koroni you should definitely do that like uh, Umineko and Higurashi are like one of the best visual novels I've ever read and those are like some goddamn masterpieces and um, so yeah and uh, so uh, yeah that was the thing so this movie is kind of like the similar thing and um, I really liked that that was something uh, that you can take 
any ways you want like you can believe like yeah this is something that uh, like they really saw they really experienced but you can also take it another way that is like no this was something that uh, they made up from the imagination and <clears throat> yeah and like it is kind of like open ended not open ended but the whole uh, movie was kind of open like it is something that you can like uh, like you can believe whatever that you want to uh, it is something that is kind of open like that yeah and uh, thankfully i had one concern was with that mom like usually when like people like they were not saying what uh, actual uh, sickness she had so usually <laughs> in situations like that it is usually bad in animes but i was a little uh, i don't know um little less concerned because his, her dad like her dad was kind of okay with all of the things that were happening and did not seem much concerned so i thought maybe it was nothing much serious uh but yeah thankfully it was really a cold like they were not uh, lying to them like there are like usually some cases where like they lie to the children like yeah i have a cold it's nothing much but actually it has it is something terminal or bad and uh, like stuff like that happens in animes and all so yeah thankfully it was really a cold so mom is back all okay now <clears throat> and uh yeah and the uh, art style that's always like ghibli movies has a nice kind of art style and everything like the background and all like these type of art style we used to see in uh like uh, old old animes but like this kind of uh like not so bright but pleasing to the eye uh, this kind of art style and uh, we usually do not see it nowadays so yeah this is kind of a good change in pace and uh, like nowadays we have like amazing animation studios like UFO Table and all of the things like they do amazing animation but uh, like this kind of uh, thing is something else like this kind of like I'm sure like people who have like grown uh, like uh, like uh, grown from the childhood look like watching these kind of movies like the Ghibli movies and all of these would find it nostalgic looking at this art style looking at this animation unfortunately I have not like this is my first time watching any Ghibli movies uh, but I've watched Naruto like Naruto was something that I like watched when I was a kid so like while watching Naruto the uh, amount of like nostalgia I free feel uh, like looking at Naruto and all uh, I, I'm sure like uh, the people who have like watched these movies from the childhood they are feeling the same kind of thing looking at this now so yeah <clears throat> okay um, yeah this was a really nice movie uh, it was uh, uh, chill movie uh, like Spirited Away was a different kind of uh, kind of a different type of genre it was like magical spirit like supernatural and it had had a lot of like tension and everything it was kind of intense but this was more uh, calm and everything and this was like a good uh, you can call this a slice of life in a, in a way so yeah and who knows how much longer they would be able to see Totoro like uh, as I said like people like stops believing in these kind of things as they grow up so naturally they won't be able to see it anymore and when they like grow up and all like the old lady said that I also used to be able to see them but as I grew older I became unable to see them yeah like a little kid's uh, heart is free like a pure and like nothing uh, like uh, no kind of uh, in, like complications so that's the reason why like they're able to see these kind of like supernatural things okay so what else yeah I'll, but <laughs> like when they showed Totoro and everything like uh, when like Totoro opened his mouth and everything <laughs> I don't know I, I kind of <laughs> felt a little bit of concern like what if he like suddenly gums down <laughs> I don't know why I was I, like I was, I, I was a little bit angsty and like anxious whenever like he, like at that time when he like grabbed Sasuke and like opened her, his mouth I was feeling like what what would happen like what if he like suddenly changes his mind <laughs> I don't know why I felt that but <laughs> That was kind of a little bit ang like uh, uh, like it made me anxious, but still, like Totoro is a good guy, especially and also like uh, Totoro's friends. So yeah, 
<laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so that was uh, this episode. Oh, another thing that I saw, like, uh, like that I uh, like noticed is obviously like this is more uh, apparent in like rural villages and all. Like uh, now, like in like urban places, like urban cities and everything, like we barely know even our neighbor's face. Like that's uh, like the situation. We like just come out of the house to go to our work then come back uh, at night to like sleep, go someplace else with our loved ones. But that's it. Like nothing else. We don't even know who lives in our neighbor or like in our area. Nothing. Uh, like, no, we know who our neighbor is. Like that is something we all like know. But uh, like other than that in our area who else are living we don't even know like uh, because of all of the like modernization and everything like people have a lot of work a lot of responsibilities nowadays and like so many things to distract us like mobile phones and everything so that's the reason why like it uh, like kind of like went down but in uh, like rural places like this and especially in the olden days uh, like like this kind of like uh, showed us the thing like when a person like when may become lost like they like s told everyone and they like started helping them like they like it's like more like a uh, like close knit family a huge area of like uh, a family and uh, like they help each and every one in their like need and uh, yeah that is like they needed at that time because uh, human dependency was more needed at uh, like olden times because obviously there were no police no like technology to help you nothing the uh, people only had themselves and their neighbors so obviously they were like a more close-knit community which is kind of we cannot see in nowadays so that kind of like made it more apparent like when they were like all looking for may and everything and when uh, like uh, like uh, Sasuke said that no may is that is not may's uh, slipper uh, they like said like, okay let's like find somewhere else like let's do it like uh, it's quite late but don't worry we'll find them like this kind of thing like, if someone like becomes becomes lost now like you have to either go to the police and that's it you can't like go to your neighbor and ask them to like yeah my like uh, son or daughter is lost can you please help me find him or her like you can't do that now so <laughs> especially in cities so yeah that kind of like is uh, like showed us the whole uh, difference in like uh, like places and the things so and especially is in, in like older uh, like like in uh, a few years back like nowadays uh, like we can see this kind of things in villages but uh, like in older like in old times uh, there were no uh, like apparent village or apparent city everything was kind of like a village where like there were like little little places where people uh, made a community and started and lived like there was no like huge buildings nothing like that so it was like more uh, stronger at that time nowadays we also see these kind of things but that is usually in villages and everything not in urban areas so yeah it it, it kind of like showed us the no this this uh, this anime in itself is quite old so i think when they like made this whole thing it was still like that like uh, like people were starting to modernize at that time so like it was still like a close-knit community in villages and I think I've heard that in Japan this thing is more because obviously in J Japan and everything they are like more um, respectful towards others and they are more um, like uh, they help other people like their neighbors and everything they're more helpful they're more uh, what can I say kind towards others like they respect others so I think uh, it is more apparent in Japan. I'm not sure if like I think that is the case. I'm not sure about any other place, but I think in Japan uh, people kind of like are like this. I'm not sure if they are still like this now. Like uh, in uh, like villages, I think it's still like this. Like there is like a huge community, and like in your village, you know each and everyone's face, and it's like a huge like a community, and like uh, everyone are friends, and they have a good time and all. So yeah, and another thing I really liked is like as I was saying uh, previously, like I stopped at that time. That is like uh, in Japan, there are like um, mm, like I've seen like there is kind of like a uh, like a room with tatami uh, like floor, and there is like a glass um pane which can be like opened, 
and after, if you open the glass pane there is like the garden and people like usually open the glass pane uh, sit uh, in the like edge of the tatami uh, floor and uh, put your like uh, legs outside in the garden and there's like a like uh, like a mosquito thing that you repellent that you use uh, that they carried in, in this show they also showed it. it it's kind of like a pig's mouth kind of a uh, shape that thing uh, it is there and uh, like th there's like wind chimes and they are like blowing in the wind and it's like making uh, nice sounds and uh, it's uh, in the like uh, it's kind of in the afternoon or evening and there's like the sun like light uh, sun and uh, in, in a garden there is like a dog house and there's a tree like I really like that kind of atmosphere like it's uh, and there's like a f usually a fan inside your house like a table fan that blows like yeah that is the typical uh, like anime um, uh, scene we see in every summer of an anime like where uh, like people go to visit the uh, like some village like their cousin's house for example like a protagonist came to the cousin's house in the summer uh, to like um, spend their uh, summer vacation and uh, like in, in, the, in that kind of place the protagonist is sitting and there's like a uh, like a watermelon in his side he's taking the watermelon and like jumping on it and looking outside in the like uh, afternoon and the wind chimes are like blowing <laughs> like yeah <laughs> i don't know like i i like that's kind of like a nice <laughs> scene anyways i went on a different thing so anyways um yeah guys uh, this was um my neighbor totoro and that was enjoyable and uh, that really is like kind of like open uh, an open kind of uh, movie you can interpret it w whichever way you want and i really like that and all, everything else was extremely good the like uh, sounds uh, like the music and uh, the visuals and everything i really liked that and it kind of reminded me obviously this is something uh, really old so it like uh, like reminded me of that kind of uh, animation that old type of anime which we uh, usually do not see nowadays so yeah and the story itself was quite nice it was kind of a slice of lifey but still uh, obviously slice of life is uh, something that i also enjoy so yeah uh, that was a good experience and i liked it but yeah guys um if you guys enjoyed my reaction um press the like button hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel or you haven't been subscribed please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say about this movie anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out and uh, so yeah guys uh, and i'll be back with a new movie uh, i'll be probably doing um uh, princess mononoke next week so if you guys are interested in that please be sure to uh tune in next week same time and <clears throat> I'll be doing uh, each and every Ghibli movies like this, so like uh, like I'll probably do all of them. So don't you worry. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so yeah, guys, uh, I'll be back next week. I'll see you guys next week. So um, like, uh, thank you guys for watching. Until then, goodbye, and have a nice day.